Thank you very much. Um, I'd just like to add a couple of points uh, to this already very rich uh, discussion. And uh, the first has to do with the way that we sometimes discuss or justify the need to achieve gender equality. It's not uncommon, even today, to hear the need for women's rights justified by the fact that women make up 51% of the world's population. While this is true, and the argument may appear powerful from a numbers perspective, it also reinforces the idea that the social reality of women and men is somehow separate. That the oppression or prosperity of one does not have a major influence on the other. When in fact we know that the well-being of women, their civil, political, economic, social, cultural rights translates into the well-being and prosperity of their families and communities of which men are a part. We need to be mindful not to distort this social reality, but rather emphasize, particularly to men, that their own true prosperity, and this is prosperity which is not based on competition and oppression, is directly tied to that of women in their communities. As a second point, um, Radhika Balakrishnan had uh, spoke about the Millennium Declaration and the need for creating an enabling environment. And so individuals, institutions, and communities are the three major protagonists for development. And while each has a vital role to play, one that is seldom mentioned in relation to the development and implementation of development frameworks is the role of the community, particularly at the grassroots level. I think the ambassador of Croatia talked about um, policies in place, um, and yet we find that you know, the development of, and gender equality is not realized. And I think it's this buy-in, and James Hines also this morning uh, mentioned uh, gender equality progressing up to a certain point and then leveling off. So I think it's really key that we have a buy-in uh, at the level of community and, and why gender equality is necessary in the advancement of women. Um, the community is also the locus of uh, culture, and it's at the deep level of culture, of worldviews, attitudes, values, and beliefs, where the most powerful, sustainable transformation can occur. The permanent representative of the UAE this morning talked about the importance of leadership. With a strong leadership in place, we see uh, uh, changes can be made at the international level, at the level of uh, setting policy. However, the, uh, the uh, uh, policies and governments, uh, the change that they seek must also um, seek the importance of the buy-in by uh, individuals and communities. For without this critical, um, um, uh, with, uh, accountability, and uh, we, we believe that uh, progress will be short-lived and limited. Thank you.